We're on our way to the LA County Fair. And I'm having some German chocolate cake and plain yogurt for breakfast. We had this for our prayer meeting, so I have it left over. I don't need to be eating all this kind of stuff, but um, if it's in the house, who's not gonna eat it? I just wanted to do a little mukbang about what's going on in the Carolinas. Have you guys been seeing the news about the Carolinas? They had a level one hurricane come in and so far it has killed 33 people. I, I had no idea when they said it was a level one. I didn't think anybody was gonna get hurt seriously. I was so relieved when they said it was gonna be a level one, but I guess I didn't understand the Carolinas because they went on to say that people been drowning in a level one. Um, in Texas, where they had serious high level hurricanes, people don't die in a level one. You know, people get out there with their boats and stuff and help each other out. But um, the Carolinas, it seems to be more dangerous with reference to um, water and hurricane. And um, they say they don't know how many people are going to be harmed because they have dangerous coal ash in this area. And when the river sweeps over this coal ash, it's gonna put toxins in the water so that anybody who's walking in that water is at risk. And then they have nuclear waste. Who would have thought they had nuclear waste in Virginia, Carolina area? Someplace over there, they say they have nuclear waste. I couldn't really get my bearings on where it is. I don't know that area, never been to that area. I avoid, um, southern areas because I'm an African-American and that's just something we do. Um, but in any event, nuclear waste in that kind of area and they have nuclear plants and they're saying if somehow the water gets to the point where it leaches out that nuclear waste, we're looking at, you know, like a Japan, Chernobyl kind of situation from the waste being in the water. So that makes the water toxic. So I mean, there's a lot of stuff on the board, and um, my prayers go out for the people in that area. And I will say this to you, and I know people are going to think this is a harsh word, but now that you're going through something where your own life is in peril, are you still going to sit up and put the lives of the children and the people who run from peril in Mexico, when they run to our border for safety, while you're going through it, do you still think it's okay for those people to be in peril, for those children to be without mothers and fathers? How do you feel now that you are going through it? I don't wish it on you, and I hope you get better, but sometimes we need a hard word because on a day-to-day -day basis, whether there's a hurricane or there is not a hurricane, people from Latin America run to the United States of America for safety and to save their life. And those lives are at risk on a day-to-day -day basis. We have hundreds of children who have neither mother nor father. A child without a mother and father, their life is at risk. So while your life is at risk, while you are being put in harm's way, and hopefully, I hope that the United States is doing everything they can to help these people get out of that situation. When I looked on the news, I didn't get, I didn't get full comfort on that fact. I feel like the money may have been diverted because I don't see them going in there and removing the people. You know, I felt like the people in that area should have been removed to a place that was safe where there was no chance of toxic waste, no chance of levees breaking, no chance of this river and situation. And I'm not seeing that, but um, I'm not there. I can just hope it's being done. But I know that these same Southern people are being hateful towards the lives of the Latin people. And now that you can see that the hand of God has come in and your own lives are at risk and we want to do everything to save your life, in turn, pay it forward. In turn, 
open up the border. There should be no wall in Mexico. That should be a free and open border. It's nonsense. The good relationship we've had for, with Mexico for hundreds of years for us to be sitting up here being a hateful, wicked nation towards Mexico. They should be able to come and go to and from work, live in Mexico, whatever. Same with Canada. We should be united as a continent. And, you know, this white supremacy, you got to let it go. You see, it's not doing you any good. I know this is a word that's going to make people upset, but people dying makes me upset. And I don't mind giving an on-time word to save not only lives. Do you know your soul will feel better if you do the right thing? When you do wicked stuff, even when you're sitting on money and wealth, you feel miserable. Look at that Kate Spade. I'm not calling Kate wicked, but I mean, she had all that money and it didn't do her any good. So closing off the border and killing folks is not going to make your life better. Just like us not going in and rescuing the people in the South is not going to make our lives better. I want it done. I want the resources spent. But we know this, this little mountain is the only, I, it's all I can do. And, of course, I prayed. If you're on my Instagram, you saw that we did pray. Um, we prayed um, and still praying, you know, still praying. I'm not going to quit praying for my nation and for hearts and soil to be healed. You know, the blood cries out from the soil over the deaths, the unrighteous and oppressive deaths that are happening in the United States of America and because of the United States of America. And we're seeing the repercussions from that behavior. I'm going to leave it at that for now. I will do another uh, thing on that with more detail because that's a chunky subject for us in the United States of America. Things are happening to us that shouldn't be happening to us. And it's because we're doing things to human beings as individuals that are our neighbors that we shouldn't be doing okay oh and of course we're killing off african americans daily i mean a white officer um broke into a black man's house in texas and killed him and then said she walked into the wrong apartment. On Instagram, the people in that building show that their doors lock automatically. So you, they, nobody can leave their doors open. So she had to either break in or knock on the door and ask him to come in and kill him. You know, so that's what's happening in Texas. Guys, and we're seeing unusual tragedies as a result of this. So I would say to us, repent. You know, it's time to repent. It's time to say, yes, I am hateful. Yes, I hate other people. Yes, I want other people to perish. And I, and I, and I get joy from thinking that I have a special privilege and I can take from these individuals. I get joy from that. But now that my kids are dying, now that I'm dying, now that there's floods, I mean, you're dealing with acts of God. Now that we're dealing with this, it's time to say, God, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Can you fix me? You know, just fix me, Jesus. You know, just a simple fix me, Jesus. I can't do it for myself. I need you to come in and fix his heart. Give me the heart of God because my heart is black. You know, irregardless of the color of my skin, my heart needs to be changed. Call on God in earnest for him to come in and give you a heart of love and joy and blessing out of the little that you have or the much that you have. You know, Nicodemus, when he got saved by Jesus, he went and passed out money like it was water. Why are we, a country that says we're under God, a Christian nation, wanting to hoard? Don't you know the rich fool went straight to hell? with his Bible in his office and a great uh, Jewish Christian Pharisee Sadducee ceremony, he went straight to hell. And we will too if we continue on this way, you know? And it's coming quick with these acts of God. And anyway, uh, be blessed. Jesus loves you. I love you with all the Jesus in my heart. And I, I'm serious about this, guys. Repent for yourself. I'm repenting daily because I can't take no chances.